Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Gary. And if you're new here, I make videos about makeup amongst other things, but today I have a massive haul that I keep getting makeup because I keep ordering stuff. So I wanted to share all that with you. Uh, sometimes I don't get around to reviewing everything, but it's just as a makeup enthusiast, as someone who likes makeup, I like to buy stuff. And I will have pictures of these on my Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me at Orbiting Live. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any updates that I do. Uh, give me a like, give me a comment, message me on Twitter, Instagram. I love hearing from you guys. I have some great feedback on from people. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so first and foremost, I... The, I bought all of this except for Jarred Cosmetics. I did get PR through them, so I was able to pick out some things that I wanted to try. So I will show you what I got through them first. They have a great deal going on, or had. I don't know if it's still going on. It was a um, <clears throat> a bundle situation where you can get a gloss, a lipstick, and a lip liner for $20, $25, somewhere in there. So I got a bunch of those, and I got these three different lip liners and this is Melrose Place and I want to say you know I know there's a lot going on I know I just want to address this real quick there's a lot going on if you are on Twitter you probably saw one of my posts about some of the stuff going on where I work and stuff like that um you know when we're stuck at home sometimes we like to buy stuff so I'm not stuck at home, but I keep buying stuff. So maybe you guys can relate to this. I don't know. But um, so anyway, I got the Murrow's Place, which was one of my favorite shows growing up. And I have Underground. And the reason I ordered these, because I don't have a lot of lip liners. And it's nice to have uh, some different colors on this. And this one is Mudslide. And then we have... Bel Air, which is this one right here. And then for the lipsticks, I got four lipsticks, which was Boss Lady, which is this one. And I think it's more of a red. These are kind of, um, they're kind of a tempered glass, so they're kind of hard to see the colors. It has some air bubbles in there, but uh, this is Gravity. This is more of a grayish color. And then we have Vintage Rose, which is this pretty pink color and then mercury rising which is more of an orangey coral sort of color I just opened them so I need to shake them up and then for the lip glosses I have these which this is candy apple and then we have Bermuda these are so pretty and then Bahama and then we have Crystal, which has got some iridescence in it. It's very pretty. Kind of a gold reflex in that one. And then the one thing that I was really excited about is they finally came out with, because she's been talking about this for a while, this is an eyeshadow base. It's more like a concealer slash eyeshadow base. It's a little thinner formula than what I'm used to, but I've seen a lot of people review this and it's gotten really good reviews. So I'm glad to add that. I'm always glad to have a good eyeshadow base. So I'm excited to use those. So that's what I got from Gerard Cosmetics. I picked up at Walmart the other day. I don't think I talked about these. Wet n Wild had these. I don't know if these are new, but they're called um, Mega Stain, Mega Last Stained Glass Lip Gloss. And I don't remember how much they were. They weren't very much. They're under $5, but this one is, oh my gosh, it is so small. Love Binding Care? <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah, no, Love love Blinding Glare. It's on the side. I haven't opened them, so. And then this one, which is this color here. This is heart shattering. But that's kind of what they look like. Let's put this one on. I want to see what they look like. It just it's really pretty packaging too. I have a little lip oil on my lips, so so I'm gonna be trying the uh oh I just tore the thing off, so now I don't know which one's which. 
heart shattering. We're going to try heart shattering. See what it looks like. Sometimes glosses can be really pigmented and sometimes they're just sheer with a hint of color. Oh, this is pretty pigmented. I would have tried the Gerard ones, but I already know I really like those, so. I see why it's called stained glass. It's very smooth. I think it's really pretty. I think it's tinted really well, so I really like that. It's not sticky. Nice. I'm glad I picked those up. I may have to try a couple more of those. They'd be really good over just regular lipstick, too. So, now, <clears throat> on to Sephora. I ordered... I got really lucky, so I put a couple things in my cart, and they've been in there for months, and they actually went half off, so I was excited, because I didn't know if I was going to get them, but um, I just, I was like, I have been buying a lot of, like, cheaper palettes and stuff, so I broke down and bought a brand I've never bought before, and I finally got a Natasha Denona, I got the Love palette, um, and this is what the back looks like. This was $65. I have a hard time buying palettes that are so expensive that are like little, but I've heard such good things about Natasha Denona products, um, but I've never used them. So I thought if I was, a, this is the one that called my name. I looked at all the stuff on there. Actually, I put this in my cart the first time I saw it. And then, um, <clears throat> I went back and looked at all the products they had available and this is the one that was calling my name because you know I kind of like the reds and pinks but this is what it looks like the love palette and then this is the color story now do I need this no do I have stuff that has the exact same colors in it yes but I wanted to at least give Natasha Denona's um, eyeshadows a chance because I've never used them. So we have first lifetime heartbeat transparent trust heart giving pure love commitment. I thought it said continental blind soul passion intense valentine and dream. Cute palette's got a mirror. Looks like you can pop the sh the sh the shallots the shadows out of the palette. So I kind of like that too. Uh, I also got, I was looking for very vibrant, like almost neon colors, and this is kind of the only one I could find, and this is another brand I've never tried. This is Violet Voss Bright Vibes, and this one was a lot cheaper. I don't remember how much this one was. It's been a little bit since I got these, but this is what it looks like. This is the back. So... I, and I think the reason was I keep seeing Urban Decay's new palette, the electric palette, but I'm seeing not very good reviews on it. So I decided to go with this one instead. Oh, these are really big. It's first time opening this. Those are gorgeous. Same thing with Violet Voss. I've heard people talk about Violet Voss as a big mirror. I've not ever tried them, so I'm interested to try these and see how I like them. And someone was saying the yellow is really good in this palette, too. So I'm excited about those. I <clears throat> can't wait to try those. So the two things that I had in my cart that got marked down, which I'm super excited about. If you watched a video a long time ago last year, I did the Seate London Jessica Rabbit collection. Well, after that, they released this, which is this is the multi-glow, multi-shade face and body highlighter. And this thing is huge way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, these were 50% off, so... Oh, it comes with a really big puff. What does it say? Oh, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. That's what the little handle says. Oh my god, this is so cute. I think this is $20. Something like that. This is a big... It's a big, hairy puff. It looks like Roger Rabbit's tail. <laughs> So that's, it's cute. I love the little thing on the back. I'm a sucker for good packaging that will, that will get me to buy it. So this is what 
the actual packaging looks like. Now the small one, so let me grab it really quick. This is what the original look like. So this is just the face highlighter. So this is the regular highlighter. And this is the other one. This says Jessica Rabbit Multi Glow. And this is the Roger Darling. If I can get it turned around. Uh, yeah, so that's the difference in those. But let's open this one and see what it looks like. It has this very gold and red shimmer. This one also had the imprint in it too, but it's more of a lighter one. So that's kind of dark. I don't know that it would be something I can wear. This is the original face highlighter compared to the face and body one. I almost forgot the other thing that I got for half price was this Jessica Rabbit compact. It's metal. Looks like this. This is the back of it. You open it. It's just a mirror. This is like eleven dollars. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Cute to carry around with you. And it just came in a little package like this. We can figure out how it goes in here. Yeah, so that's what that one looked like. So I got that off Sephora as well. Okay, that is super cute. I'm excited about that. I, let, I just love the packaging too. I'm thinking of doing a um, a wall behind me. Like I, I like this background, but I've had it for so long. I'm kind of tired of seeing it in my videos. But I'm thinking of doing a. Sorry for all the crunchies. I'm trying to pick puff. Look at its packaging. I'm thinking of doing where I take. I kept a lot of. The packaging, because I love the packaging, I hate throwing it away. So I'm thinking about doing like the packaging and stuff and putting it on my wall and having that as my backdrop, like a big collage of stuff. And like the cards that people send, you know, like Makeup Geek and all those. I kept all those. So I think that'd be really fun. What do you guys think of that? I think that'd be a good background and I can change it as I get new stuff. So that's that. That's all I got from Sephora. I like this. It's weird wearing this without any makeup. But so I'm going to go to Ulta now. And I mentioned this in my last video. This is one from a previous order. I did get the Juvia's Place, the Violets. And this was $15, 15 or 14 Doesn't have a mirror. Those great purple colors that I compared to, you know, if you wanted something cheaper as opposed to the Bloodless palette, that would be something to consider. They also came out with this one. This is called The Berries. So I do like these little, littler palettes. I think it's nice to just get a kind of a chromatic um, palette of one color. I think that's a nice feature to have with your brand instead of coming out with big palettes. If I can get this open. Okay. Finally. It says press pigments on these. So, you know, always take that into consideration. Press pigments can stain the skin. So there is the berries by Juvia's Place. Another really pretty. I love those colors. I've not tried any of their stuff, but everyone raves about them, and they're really reasonably priced, and they always have sales, so that's why I wanted to pick these up. <clears throat> and then, out of nowhere, two videos ago, three videos ago, I did the Sugar Pill, um, the, what is it called? The Capsule Collection. They had the C1. Well, they released the C2 already, which was two weeks later. I didn't even know they were coming out with this, but this is an Ulta exclusive. 
So this is interesting to me because I felt like it had more natural colors in it that people would wear every day. But this is what this one looks like. And of course, here's the back with all the colors. And then this is a blush retrograde. So you have side eye, elevate, moonshine, retrograde, double shot, sky rise, young blood, insomniac, metro, and karma. And then it has the cute little mirror. And then that's what the actual colors look like. This one is calling my name. And I really like that green. I think that's what I used in the last one. But I mean, they have some more basic colors that I think people would use, plus the bright shades of color that you can brighten up any look. Kind of this dark mustard color here. I really liked their last one, and I was excited to get this. Finally, Sugar Pell. I'm so glad you're releasing these. And I think this one was, it was $42, just like the other one. And that, that got released Sunday. Yeah, when you see this, it'll be a week ago, but um, they released that, so I was excited to get that one because I like the other one so much. And then I have Wicked Artistry came out with some, which is an indie brand. She's very lovely. Follow her on Instagram. It's W-I-K-K-E-D Artistry Cosmetics, but they have these, which are... multi-chrome use um kind of liquid pigments that you can use anywhere so it's not necessarily eyeshadow but you can use it as eyeshadow or you can do designs this is amethyst kind of hard to see, Let's see if I can open them. such cute packaging Kind of hard to see but I'm so looking forward to that it's kind of it's multi-chrome so it changes like the purple it's got a purple kind of a blue green shift and then this one this one is aubergine a blue green shift and then we have the purple goldy green Looks different on camera. And this is Nori. Excited. I'm not playing around with anything quite like that. I also ordered their Renaissance palette. And they're cheap too. I mean, for what you get. And this is what the palette looks like. Great design. Open it up. We are art. Be the idea is what it says on the back. It's a little dusty. A little dusty. Those are the colors there. Some shimmers. Really pretty. I'm excited about those. And she's such a sweetheart. She, uh, um, I was trying to order the pigments and they were on the site, but it was a different picture and I was like confused. But I got them ordered and she, uh, I've ordered stuff from her in the past. That's what I used when I did the, um, green and blue lips. I used her pigments in lip gloss and she sent me three other ones which is Zenith which is the hot pink and then the creative which is the neon blue and then sent me this fabulous loose glitter here. It doesn't have a name on it but look at the reflex in that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play around with those. There's so much to play around with. I don't know what to start with. I'm still liking lip gloss. Like I said, I'm just weird not seeing myself with makeup. So, and then the last thing that I ordered is I ordered from Sugar, Sugar Pop? No. What is wrong with me? From ColourPop. And the thing with ColourPop is they had a huge sale on their monochromatic eyeshadow palettes they were nine dollars a piece and then they had them in the sets and you could buy them and i the only one that i have is smoke show which they changed the name to blowing smoke because i think there was a copyright issue but i ordered this and i've talked about this before um that 
brands when they you order them and then they take forever to get in i don't know if it's because of where i live in missouri or what but it's a little crazy sometimes but it did take them longer and actually the day that i was going to email them about it because it was over a week and it still hadn't shipped and then they sent this with my package it says sorry we're late and then they sent me a matte lipstick which i've never used in color pop before and this is in the shade on the grill interesting so i'm interested to try that and then so i ordered i think i spent close to a hundred dollars but i got so many of them so we've got meant to be which are just these little little palettes excited about this one kind of very pastel greens with some shimmers then I got maybe got peach just what it looks like and then and I'm sure a lot of people have seen these before I don't think I have a lot of peach colors so that's gonna be interesting and then lilac you a lot I like the packaging. It's very soft. It's not just hard cardboard. That's what it actually looks like. Those are the colors there. More purples. This is something you could think about instead of Bloodlust, maybe. They're all kind of the same. These colors, of course, are going to be totally different as far as um, how they perform, but that's something to take in consideration, too. Going Coconuts, which I believe is one of their newer ones. This is more of a basic neutrals. Pretty colors there. Like I said, I, I'm liking these small little palettes. I mean, I like the big palettes for all the colors, but these are cheaper. I, these were nine bucks a piece, and they're usually like 12 or 15. Strawberry Shake, which I was excited about. Cute little boy on Instagram um, has been doing makeup and he did a look with this and I thought it was super cute and actually made me want to get it. So, strawberry. Cute colors. Cute. And then they had, so those were all put together, like I didn't buy them individually. Um, but they just came like this. And then they had their other one, which is their vault, which has... Some of the ones that's been out for a little while longer so you open this and this is what this looks like and here is the other side so i think these are the brighter colors those are more like the pastels that i showed you so it's kind of interesting packaging this is main squeeze of the watermelon themed colors there I say that because it's got little seeds on it then orange glad little oranges and then we got uh uh honey uh uh honey what what the heck the middle ones they've got two I'm getting them all sliding out everywhere okay let me just do this because it's gonna blow me so i have uh, uh honey which is this one which is very yellowy gold then we have just my luck which is a darker green compared to the mint one And that shadow is off center. That drives me crazy. Pretty colors though. And then Blue Moon. <clears throat> Just cute little plastic packaging. Ooh, I like these colors a lot too. Or just, sorry, I'm looking at my monitor to make sure I'm getting this in picture. And then we have the darker purple, which is, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Which is this one? Shimmers, couple mattes, 
One, two, three mats. This mat has glitter in it. The rest look like shimmers. So yeah, that's what I got. I told you I went a little crazy. Um, you have a big, a big sale on stuff, and then I will probably buy it because I'm a sucker for a good sale. And I've been seeing these around a lot, and I've been seeing people review them. And I like the looks I'm seeing at them. And the price, honestly, you cannot beat little $9 cute little palettes. This was, I think this one was $54. I wound up figuring out it was actually a little more than $9 a palette. But this is the Dream Big Collection, the ones I just showed you. So that's kind of what it looks like. And like I said, these were individually done on these... And the baby got peach. Lots and lots of stuff. So have you been shopping online? Are you buying anything new? Um, I don't think I've ordered anything else at the moment. I feel like I have way too much stuff as it is. But I can't help it as a makeup enthusiast. I like packaging. I like the colors. Um, I do like ColourPop for what they are. I feel like they're, you know, the fast fashion of makeup if you want to think of them that way um i'm excited to play around with the gerard cosmetic stuff actually i want to try on the um that came off easily okay i want to i'm gonna try this on i want to try this blue one i keep sitting here and i'm like i want to try it on and see what it looks like see how pigmented this is and i like these because they have a little light on them see the little light Oh my gosh. Their glasses are really thick. So it just kind of depends on what kind of gloss you like. Does it look like I've got hypothermia and it smells like vanilla you know I just like Gerard cosmetic stuff so this was PR they did not pay me to do this or anything I do have a code with Gerard you can say 30% off the link is down below I just really like their products cute it's blue. I'm sure another layer would make it even crazier. Oh, my dry skin. Anyway, what do you guys bought that's new? Um, I have so much to play with. What do you see here? What would you like me to see do a look with this? I'd love to know um, how much to choose from. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Orbiting Live, where you'll see pictures of these. Hopefully, if I get around to taking the pictures. Um, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, let me know, leave me a comment down below what you're buying, what you're doing to stay kind of sane during this time that's happening everywhere. Do you like lip gloss? I love lip gloss. I love anything lips. I, I like lips. I like lips on people. I'm a lip person. Maybe a little oral fixation. Okay. I admit it. I just, I can't help it. I mean, gorgeous, right? So <laughs> send me a message. That was TMI. Okay, so send me a message on Instagram and Twitter if you like, on my pictures, uh, follow me, blah, 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 blah. I hope everyone's having a great evening, day, night, midnight, 2 a.m., vampire time, whatever it may be. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you're all staying safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.